Today is September the 8th, I believe. All right, now we're going to go back what we're talking about. Part 1, Part 2, now it's going to be Part 3. Now we're going to always try to stay focused on this right here. Remember that county clerk office and the what Secretary of State, your state Secretary of Office in your state, the U.S. Treasury are the what most powerful what office in the United States of American Republic uh, and land in your state. Always remember that here. Remember that county clerk office where you live at, the state secretary of where you live at, and the U.S. Treasury are the most powerful office in the United States of American Republican land and your state. And remember this, here we go. The county clerk office, your state secretary office where you live, and the U.S. Treasurer or the what? Enforcer of what? Alien property, custodian, and the general power and duty, a.k.a. The, the guardian and gatekeeper of the what? U.S. Constitution of Article 4, Section 1, Section 2, and 4 in your county, in your state, and your country. Always remember that here. Now, the reason why, the reason why we're going to go today on this one is we're going to go talk about immunity. We're going to go by immunity. And we're going to look at the county clerk office of the recorded mortgage and conveyor office, whatever you want to call it. Right here, we got the state secretary office where you live at. Again, they are the deed, the recorded marketing, and conveyor, and the U.S. Treasury is also what the deed, recorded marketing, conveyor, and office. Now you got that part. Now part three is about there's no immunity. Here we go. There are no immunity for elected public official. Now the reason why I'm saying that there are no immunity for elected public officials. They always say they got immunity. Yeah, they had immunity back before the Civil War and even before the, uh, what we call the uh, Federal Reserve Bank Act or the Federal Reserve Act of 1913. Before that, you see what I'm saying? But read why they don't have it today. Here we go. There are no immunity for elected public official. The reason why I say that, when they have retirement plan, pay vacation and pension, pension, uh, pension plan, and family member, friend, working for a lobby, you see it all the time, passing bail to favor a big corporation without the public waiting, uh, you know, voting statewide or have an input on that uh, corporation. Public oath and sh surety bond are not filed at the county clerk recorded office, your state secretary office, and created a non-elected department agency, like state police, these are not, you know what I'm saying, these are not government. Uh, your DMV, Social Security, FBI, all these people are not part of the Constitution. These people are created. These are outside. I call them third-party consultants. Uh, here we go. Making law against the against against the and, uh, and you know and overriding the first original state constitution. The using the uh, yeah you know using the uh, Federal Reserve banknote. Um, using the IMF to fund government function, meaning in other words, every time we touch in that Federal Reserve Bank, no, they lost their military. When they signed that, uh, that Federal Reserve Act in 1930, they lost all immunity. They lost all immunity. When they, uh, get medical, uh, medical, uh, care, you know, they, they lost immunity. When they got what we call a conference package for retirement, they lost immunity. They lost immunity. They lost it right there. They don't have no immunity. 
You know, they don't have no minimum tax because nothing is funded by the taxpayer. In other words, there's no gold silver dollar. So they lost their uh, their minimum tax. This is why I'm going to stay focused on this. All government is using the IMF fund, a.k.a. the uh, U.S. dollar Federal Reserve Bank note. As long as that dollar say Federal Reserve uh, note on there, as long as that $10, that $5, that, that, that uh, $2 bill, that $100, $50 bill got uh, Federal Reserve on there, there's no minimum tax on local, county, and statewide, and federal wide dollar. There's no minimum tax on local, county, and statewide, and federal wide. There's no immunity. They lost that shit. They lost it. I said they lost it. And I can uh, make that case very clear in courtroom. They lost it. Working with non-elected federal department agency. Working with the general obligation bond. In other words, these, these local city, these county, these state government and federal, they are working with general obligation bond. Depository trust. No word. They lost their immunity by having this right here, the general obligation bond. They lost their immunity. There's no immunity for these people. And I can uh, make that case very clear. On the local, county, and state, and federal level, you know, it's all a gift. Remember this, it's all a gift. Right here, retirement plan is a gift. Payification is a gift. Pension is a gift. You see what I'm saying? Family member, friend, working for lobby, that's a gift. Being a member of association, no word, no word. If you got a judge association, the, the mayor association, state, a, a governor association, membership, these people don't have membership for that. Remember this, out of the old tradition, out of the old tech, people got elected, they had their oak and they buy on the wall. Back in the old days, they had their oak that they took and they had their bond on the wall in their office. People could walk in there and see their oak and bond on the wall that they were working for the people. Today, you don't see that in these so-called elected official office. They hide the shit. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't at the county or the state, uh, state secretary office where they uh, resign at, then you know, then you know they don't have it. So that immunity gone. Until that pop up, it's gone. Second, they got what we call Federal Reserve Bank notes. So everything functions on Federal Reserve Bank notes. So they lost that already. So there's, there's no immunity for that. All right, here we go. Again, again. All your judge, all your prosecutor, all the so-called sheriff deputy, the, sh I mean the sheriff, all the elected official, they all got what? Retirement, pension. They got all these so-called wonderful medical care. They ain't supposed to get none of that shit. The only thing they supposed to do be trustee and work for the uh, the boss like me. You see what I'm saying? They supposed to be servant. They ain't supposed to be master. You know what I'm saying? They ain't supposed to go in there a, 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 a get a uh, career in that. No, they both did go in there, get a uh, paycheck for the work they do, and once they voted out or retired, they're no, they're, they're, they're not supposed to have retirement uh, package. I would debate any so-called uh, educated asshole or, college or, or attorney. I would debate any one of them. If they could show me that the founder father created pension and retirement. They created a uh, paid vacation. They created all these so-called third party agency. I would debate them any day. I would debate these college people with master, bachelor degree, PhD degree. I would debate that workless shit they got. I would debate them again. I would debate them on general obligation. I would debate them on court register investment system. You know what I'm saying? Come out there. You cannot have Chris, aka the court register investment system, without this right here. And you cannot have it without this right here. The county clerk and the state secretary office and the U.S. Treasury. People forgot about that state called Chris. And by the way, I already know who run the uh, so-called depository register agent. You know what I'm saying? Anybody know about the 55 Water Street? 
The 55 Water Street is really run by Black Rock, Blackstone, Hellebur, uh Vestment, the State Street Vestment. They thought I wouldn't figure this out, but I, I already knew a long time ago that these people run the 55 Water Street in New York City. That's right. If you did not know, that's right. The Positor Trust. That's right. The Positor Trust is actually run by them. The North, I say the Norton Trust Corporation, based out of Chicago, is run by Black Rock, Black Street. I mean, uh, State Street. It's run by Heliport. It's run by all these so-called vestments. You know, even though they don't have the name to these eight, and you know the name and all that stuff. It's a dummy, uh, dummy shell, but they run them dummy shell. And I could always go out to the CEO, and I could go out to the vestment of these people. Now, here's my fun part right here I want everybody to see. Here you go. There, here you go. This is what I want to show everybody. There are, I mean, there, there are never no immunity for a non-elected or appointed public official. I'm going to say again. State police, city police. Parking meter, uh, state, uh, state, uh, state wildlife police officer, whatever you want to call it, toll, toll collector, uh, city worker, state worker. These are not elected or uh, appointed official. People work at the DMV, the Social Security, FBI, ATF, uh, the EPA, the Ocean, uh, the Equal Opportunity Employment. All these people or not elected or what we call appointed official. They have no jurisdiction. They have no immunity. I'm gonna explain to you why. If you can find that in the first state constitution, if you can find that in the US Constitution that, that it mentioned them, then you won't find it. They don't have it. They don't have it. They were created after the uh Federal Reserve was put into the act. You know what I'm saying? They took out gold silver, they gave us bullshit. Again, they don't have no military. Again, city park worker, state police, uh, FBI, ATF, all these people don't have no military. Now we you know what I'm saying, people work at the uh, the financial department in your city or the uh, comp controller department in your city, in your city hall. They don't have no immunity. People work at the, what we call the state revenue department. Every state have what we call a state revenue department. They don't have no immunity. These workers, they don't have no immunity. People that work on the road, they don't have no immunity. Again, uh, state highway patrol, state police, whatever you want to call it, they don't have no immunity. You know what I'm saying? Because the original constitution and your state constitution is the first one. They don't mention that. These people were created out of thin air. And I always tell, I always could go back on the original constitution and, 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 and show they don't have it. Here we go. I'm going to explain it to you right here why I say that. There are never no immunity for a non-elected party official. Uh, 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 you know, party of public official. Because they are all what? Third party consultant. AK City Police, they trooper, CP, uh, Child Protective Agency, Social Security, Wildlife Police, City Worker, State Worker, uh, Federal Government, yeah, Federal, uh, a Federal, uh, a Federal Worker, uh, let me see, hold on, Federal Worker, let's not get everything together, fellas, hold on, there you go, hold on, just trying to get everything right, right, uh, Federal Worker, also what? Federal work on what? FBI, ATF, IRS, etc. Because your first original state and federal constitution never created or gave them power or authority. Authority out of the what? Authority out of the what? Out of that law. Hold up, I got, I got, hold up, hold up, man. I'm gonna go back right here again. Here you go. Sorry about that, man. So I'm just trying to get a lot of stuff together, you know. Here we go. I'm gonna say it one more time. There are, here you go. There are never no immunity for a 
non elected or appointed a public official because they are all third party consultant. People need to look up third party consultant. Third party consultant agency. Y'all need to look that up and dish that. It's gonna break it down, let you know that these people are contractors. You know, know where these are outside of that violate your right. These are outside that make rests on you. These outside that make claim on you. These are third party. That's right, these are third party uh, consultants. That's what they are. You know what I'm saying? They offer a service to the what? Elect official. In other words, the elect official got a problem. Put it like this. When the elect official create a law, they uh, fund the third party consultant. They fund them. That's why they don't have no immunity. And what happened, if you read that Dr. Uh, Chevron, Dr. Chevron was saying that Congress had a problem with the people. So what happened, they're uh, 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 you know, Dr. Chevron, it stated that Congress get get the third party consultant like EPA, FBI, authority to violate your right. It gave them the power to arrest you, handcuff you. You know what I'm saying? To 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 beat you down, to shoot you, to execute you. In other words, the people that you put in office, or the people that came back. And gave them power to fuck you up. That's what they, that's what they did. That's on a city level, state level. The people that you vote in office, they turn around and credit the third party to to handcuff you, to arrest you, to tell you cannot do this, do that. In other words, out of a uh, 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 Clearfield, she I mean, out of you know the doctor of Chevron. In other words, these people made policy outside of the statute law. They made policy. And sometimes people get arrested on policy instead of statute law. And sometimes, you know, people are convicted on policy instead of statute law. So, so I know how to do this. This is very easy. I know how to shut policy down and make them go back to the statute. And I make them go back to who authorized the statute for you to do this. You see what I'm saying? I go back on the statute. They policy. I shut that down quick. They can't use policy. You know, I always tell, I always tell the officer, is this policy or this statute? Which one it is? If you say policy, get everything out your name. I'm coming. I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck your policy. Fuck your policy. If it ain't statute, you know what I'm saying? Don't bother me. All right, here we go. Again, there. There are, I mean, here you go. There are never no immunity for a non-elected appointed public official because they are all third-party consultant, A.K. city police, state worker, state trooper, child protection. Uh, here you go, child protection agency. That's right. They all third-party consultant. You know what I'm saying? Offer service to the elected official. Uh, Social Kid Administrative Worker, the Wildlife Park, uh, City Worker, State uh, State Worker, Federal Worker, FBI, ATL, IRS, Century, because your first constitution, your, your first regional constitution, and the federal constitution never created or gave them power or authority under that law. That's right, never. And like I said, I would debate any university professor. I would debate all these so-called Marxism, communism, socialism, progressivism, like Obama's a progressive, stupid ass, fuck that nigga, man. I would debate Durga Marshall, you know what I'm saying? That little bastard in the in, in the ground, that uh, former uh, Supreme Court justice, that, you know, they gave up that bullshit ass, Brown versus Topeka uh, Board of Education. That's one of the worst cases I ever said. I'll tell you right here. It's the worst case. And I'll put my face right here. See my face? Yes. That's the worst case. Mm-hmm. The worst case. Now, here we go. Under that law, the local, city, county, state, and U.S. representative and uh, U.S. senator where the third-party consultant Created, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back there one more time. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I'm trying to do everything at multiple tags, you know. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna go back right here. What I was saying, 
They were never created under that law that the, lo the local, the city, county, and the state, and the U.S. representative and the U.S. senator were the third party consultant. You know what I'm saying? The third party consultant was created. Now, the third party arrest and oh shit. I gotta make sure what I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah, now where where D third party have arrest a letters of notice whatever it in the district. Now where look, if you get arrested by the third party or get a letter of notice or whatever it is in that county where you at, these the people that created the local, the city, the county, and the state. And the U.S. representative and the U.S. senator to create all the third party. Always remember that these people that had created this. And so when you get arrested, right here, when you get arrested by a third party, or when you get a, a letter of notice or a lien, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is in that district where you live, aka the county, you know what I'm saying? Where these elector, of, uh, you know, where these uh, elected official it's local, city, or county, or state, the U.S. Congress zone, aka the, the county, you can file a lawsuit. That's right, you can file a lawsuit and file a criminal charge against both elected and non-elected public official. Again, you can file a lawsuit against who? A criminal charge against who? The elected and non-elected official. Remember this. These people fund these non-elected agencies. Remember this. Your local government, your state government, and your federal government that has been elected, they fund these non-elected. The city councilor fund the city police and all the department inside that city hall by a city councilor. On your state level, the house, not the Senate, but the house fund all your state agency, like DMV, Child Protection Agency, State Police, City Worker, and all that stuff. They they fund that on a federal level, the US House, not the US Senate, but the US House fund the FBI, they fund the ATF, they fund the IRS, they fund the uh Border Patrol, they fund the US Coast Guard. They fund everything on the house side. Always remember that the price or the money is always on the it's on the house side. It's always on the representative side. It's always on the city council side, not the mayor. You know what I'm saying? So right here, these public officials don't have no immunity. Right here, both have what pension plan, vacation, and they have what retirement plan and medical health plan which is all illegal out of the what first day and the US Constitution which you will never find it you will never find it it's called what gift it called gift it called what union association member remember this these people don't have no military these people don't have no military. They have what we call pension, pay vacation, they have retirement, they have membership, all that stuff. You did not have none of these stuff. These things were created by the criminal. The criminal infiltrated the county. They got elected in the county. Then they infiltrated the district. They got elected in the district. Then they got elected on the federal side. These criminal infiltrated you see what I'm saying? They had infiltrated. No, what when I say criminal, I'm talking about these people that sacrifice children. These people that sacrifice and kill children. They uh kidnap children. They turn women into prostitutes. These criminal. That's right, I call what they are. These criminal had took over our government. These criminal had infiltrated the government. These criminal are real criminal. That's why I say there are no immunity. You know what I'm saying? If they think they got immunity, nah, that's bullshit. They ain't got no immunity when it comes to me. You know what I'm saying? Remember that. Retirement plan, 
for Congress and city worker and for uh, elected official. If they got retirement plan, it's a gift. They got paid vacation, it's a gift. That's a foreign gift. I'm gonna say it like this. They got retirement plan, that's a foreign gift. They got paid vacation, that's foreign gift. They got pension plan, that's foreign gift. They got medical plan, I mean medical care plan, that's foreign gift. You can't find that in your first state constitution. You can't find that in the US constitution. These are gifts, these are outside gifts that these people have received. And also the non-elector or point official, like city police, state police, FBI and all them other so-called agency, Border Patrol, the U.S. Coast Guard, all, all these people were never created by the Constitution. They just came out of nowhere. These people are, you know what I'm saying, these people are third-party consultants. I want people to keep looking at this word, third-party consultant. That's what you need to understand, third-party consultant. Look that up a dictionary, look that up, you, you know what I'm saying? They gonna explain to you what these people are. Like city police, uh, health inspection, that's right, that's right, health inspection, uh, by the office, whatever that bullshit supposed to be called. That's right, you got health department, you got uh, probation, parole. Yeah, probation, parole are third party consultant. That's right, that's right, that's what they are. They are a third party consultant. Did you know? They, 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 that's what they really are. Uh, I mean, look these things up again. When you see retirement plan, it, it like this. When you see retirement plan, pay vacation, pension plan, and family member working for the lobby and all that stuff, always remember this. They are what? Third party consultant. They are third party consultant. Third party consultant. Third party party consultant. You need to look that up. Third party consultant. And remember this, there, there are never no immunity for a non-elected appointed official. They are not. Like the DMV worker, you know what I'm saying? Health department worker, you know? These people don't have no immunity. There's no immunity for these people. Again, now, now, non-elected and party official, they can have retirement. They can have pension plan. They can have a uh, paid vacation. They can have medical plan. But your elected official cannot have that. But they can have it. Cause why they are third party consultant. They are outside of worker. They are outside contractor. Put it like this. They are what? Outside contractor. Often service to who? The elected official, the elected public official, like the mayor, the city councilor, the county commissioner, the state representative, the state senator, the U.S. representative, the uh, the U.S. senator. You see what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They are funded by these people up here. These people right here are third-party contractors. Third party consultant, outside contractor. You see what I'm saying? They can have paid vacation. They can have medical uh, care. They could be a member of the association. They could be a union. You know what I'm saying? Because they are third party consultant. That's all they is. They, these are third party. In other words, they are outsider. You know what I'm saying? They can have all these things. But, but right here, like the fish, you cannot have that. They cannot have that. They can have the pension plan right here. Third party, third party consultant. They can have that. Cause why? They're foreign. They are foreign. They receive a foreign gift. Third party contract again. Who a third party contract? Parking meter. You see what I'm saying? Road construction worker. Again. Uh uh. The ocean, the people that work at the ocean, the people that work at the uh, the board uh, uh, education, the people that work at the uh, secretary of education, whatever you want to call it, uh, they can have that. People that work at the IRS, they can have that. People that work at a, uh, a, you know ATF or uh, you know CIA or FBI, they can have the uh, pension plan. They can have the medical plan. People that work at the state trooper office, the city police. 
they can have that, but the sheriff cannot have that. The sheriff deputy cannot have that, but the city police can have that. You see what I'm saying? City police can have a uh, picture plan, medical plan. They can have all that because they are outsider. But the mayor cannot have that. The city council cannot have that. So, the, you know, they don't have no military. And right here, right here, my favorite. The current U.S. president, that's why I said, the current U.S. president right now is still Donald J. Trump. Donald J. Trump has full immunity on the original U.S. Constitution. Kawhi, he took no what pay or gift, foreign gift while in office. He's still in office right now. That's right. Donald J. Trump have not received what no pay or no foreign gift while in office to this day. You see what I'm saying? And by the way, Donald J. Trump will be the president of uh, of the United States American Republic again, 2024. I said, Donald J. Donald J. Trump, the U.S. president right now, and still the current U.S. president out of the War Act, is still the president, and he will be the president of the United States again for the third time in 2024. Whether you like it or not. Again. And by the way, I forgot to say that on my phrase in my second part, deportation. You could always uh you know reverse that deportation. In other words, if a person that served the country but did something illegal after he got an honorable discharge but got convicted at the county but got deported. You can always go right back here and do that deportation. Right here, right here, right here. You can always undo that right there. You always can undo that right there at the county clerk office. Oh, I just need to find out what county that he got convicted in. And I can undo his conviction, which reversed that deportation. But I want not do no deportation for criminal that's bringing drugs in the country got deported. I want to do it for no uh, deport, uh, you know, deportee that rape women or murder child or rape a child got deported that he could uh, get his conviction uh, overturned back in the county. No, I want not do that. I would only do it for a person that served the country got an honorable discharge. But also, I would do it for a man who might have came to the country, try to provide for the family, but, but he got pulled over and got deported. But I might do it for that, but I won't do it for no drug dealer. I won't not do it for no child or raper or a woman raper. I will not do it like, I will not do it. You know, so don't call me for that. Don't ask me to do that for you. Again, remember people, remember people, look, these people do not have no immunity, man. Remember this. If your public official that's been elected got retirement, paid vacation, got family member working for a lobby, or these people, you know what I'm saying, got pension plan, whatever you want to call it, got medical care or part association, that includes judge, judge, you know all them stuff, they don't have no immunity. Always remember that. Go to your original constitution. Go to the first constitution of the state. Not the second, not the third constitution. Go back to the first constitution of your state. Go to the original constitution of the U.S. Constitution. You, you will not find that. Like I said, I would debate anybody with a college degree, Ph.D. degree. I would debate any professor, any, any clown ass so-called historic constitution uh, expert. I would debate y'all any day, any time right now. I would debate y'all any day, any time right now. I would shame you with that workless degree, that workless PhD, your, your workless professional uh, degree. I would debate you anytime. And like I said, the most dangerous people in this country are community actors like Obama, communism, Antifa, Black Lives Matter are da dangerous people. Uh, Pan Africa, uh, communism, Marxism. Yeah, these are dangerous people in this country. Liberalism and Rhino Republican. These are dangerous people in this country. I call them terrorism, domestic terrorism. 
people that have been uh, elected to, to the county clerk office, but uh, cheat on election day, you are very dangerous to this country. I, like I said, bring execution back, bring hanging back, bring fire squad back. I like to say bring hanging back because I would love to picnic. I would picnic any day. Again, anybody want cash at me? You know what I'm saying? You can cash at me. I'm going to put my cash at in the link. You know, and right here, I'm going to uh, get a bigger boy and I'm going to break a lot of things down. Because I'm going to come with part four. I'm going to come with part five, part six. Right now, this is part three of no immunity for elected public official. And there's never no immunity for a non elected point official. You know what I'm saying? So. So I got many more to come, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put my cash app uh, link in there. So if you want to send me some, so I can create more video and, you know what I'm saying, hit you know what I'm saying, hit that good stuff for you, here. Yeah? All right, but uh, one more thing. Like I said, like and subscribe, you know. Like and subscribe to the video. All right, I'm out.